talking and listening, hearing the challenges the residents of Ward 2 of the world-renowned JB face. But they don't live an idyllic life. Here, poverty, unemployment and a lack of houses is the reality. We would like the UDM to change our lives and build us better houses. We are living in slums and this is not fair. We also want jobs so that we can better our lives. We would like a better life than this. We don't have proper houses and also jobs. It would make our lives better. My house is in a sad state. Every time it rains, water comes into my house and destroys everything. This is not life. I am really suffering and depend on my daughter who brings me food every now and then. I really need help. The DA garnered 57% of the vote four years ago to take charge of the Goha municipality. The UDM sees this by-election as an opportunity to get a seat before the full election next year. The party is pushing its fighting corruption agenda. The issue of corruption uh, is embracing almost all our municipalities and at the same time the service delivery is affected because the money has been stolen. So we are merely encouraging people to exercise their, uh, their, their, their right to vote uh, with the view that the person who, are going to, person who is going to represent the UTM uh, will take the lead inside the municipality to say let us channel the resources of this country to the rightful places. By-elections will take place in 19 wards in 13 municipalities in the Eastern Cape next week. Lerat Ofekisi, SABC News, Jeffreys Bay.